Today we're gonna to do the top five hardest zombie starting rooms. I got this inspiration from this video from Chrism. I'll put the link in the description if you wanna go check him out, but you guys obviously probably know who he is because he's pretty fucking big. Yeah, this is the inspiration for this video, but I'm gonna do the top five maps. My goal is to get around 50 maps. I mean, 50 rounds, like 10 for each map. This totally isn't my second time recording this because I totally forgot to click record the first time, but it's whatever. If Ruck is the hardest starting room, the Highest round someone got on here, or at least the highest round someone got on Black Ops 3's Varuktis, 21 rounds, which, to be completely honest, I feel like it, I think it would be higher, because there's some fucking really good Zombies players out there, so, I would think people could get to a higher round than 21, but obviously I'm not getting to fucking round 21, but like, I feel like some other people could have, but maybe there's, maybe not as many people tried on this map. I'm pretty sure that's with classics or with no gobble gums. I think I'm going to be using classics just for this run, just to make it a little easier on myself. I'm not the biggest fan of Varok. I don't really, I forgot to take the, put the fucking elo on this gun. Shit. But I'm not the biggest fan of Varok. I think Black Ops 3 did all the Chronicles maps justice. I think almost every single map is better on Chronicles than it was. I think this map is a lot better on Black Ops 3 than it is on World at War. I'm not a big fan of World at War. Or Black Ops 1, so I just, just excluded any of those maps that were might have been harder on for the starting room. I'm a lot bigger fan of Black Ops 2, BO3, and BO4, so I decided to do, just do five maps from those games. But I do think that this is the best version of Rook that we have gotten. Stock option, let's go for it. I think stock option will help me a lot on this map. I don't know if I'm planning on training. I think I might just camp for a bit. Because I think... Training will be a lot harder, and I'm not a fucking goat at this map, so... Nowhere am I a goat at fucking any map, but... I'm definitely not that good at this map, so... Shiva is actually a pretty underrated gun. It, um... It does a lot of headshot damage, and it's actually pretty damn good when you pack punch it, and you get double tap on it. You also got Jug Side, which I don't know if that's good or bad. Because I can't buy the perk, but... I feel like I just try to buy Quick Revive too many times, and... Actually, I guess, I guess it's definitely better to have Quick Revive, because you get at least two tries. Ooh, we're gonna load up with another fucking stock option. Look at that shit. That's fucking genius plans right there. I need to get some ammo. To be honest, the first time I did this, I got to round seven because I tried to train and I fucking sold, but I think I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna get to round seven and then try to train. Just see how good I can. Oh no, it's more than a two headshot kill now. I think I'm gonna need to make up some time on maps like Dead of the Night, literally only Dead of the Night because Mob of the Dead's gonna be fucking so hard, I think, for me. And so isn't shadows oh shit yeah what do you guys think do you think that black ops 3 Let's see if i can use this um do you guys think that i'm gonna start training now the black ops 3 chronicles maps are better than the originals i think it has to be because the black ops 3 system is just easily the best so it just makes all the map especially with the double pap wall powers on like knocked and stuff the thunder gun and bullet boost it just makes the map so much more fun i feel like Add so much more replayability. All right, here we go with the trains, baby. Obviously, I'm going to try to get a little bit. Yeah, no. Whoa, fuck off. Did we make it? Holy fuck, we made it, dude. Yeah, I don't think I'm making it to round nine, though. No chance. I do think that Verrucht was a lot um, more of a scary map on what it... I'm fucking using that, dude. How the fuck did I die? That was... I think it was a lot scarier. Which made it a little bit better in that aspect. But I don't really think a map is good because it's scary. I mean, it helps the atmosphere, but... For a straight gameplay, I think... How the fuck did I... For straight gameplay, I think that... That was fucking weird. I just think that Black Ops 3 maps are mostly all better. Dude, that is fucking so dumb. I'm dead. I swear to God, I'm only getting hit once. Ain't no fucking way I just got the round 9, dude. I don't know. I, I use gobble guns, but you know, I'm pretty proud of myself, dude. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's just not use this anymore, but let's just go get two more kills with it. Oh, I gotta scratch my leg. Fuck. Oh, fuck. I'm dead. Oh, what a play, dude. Oh, I'm dead. I am so... Dude, that is the luckiest fucking nuke of all time. Holy shit. That is so lucky. Oh, we got to round 10 based on a fucking lucky nuke, dude. That is great. Yeah, we, we, we like, we ain't making it any farther than this. I don't even know if you can use in I mean, anywhere to be here in the starting room. I think you can in some, but I'm not sure. I, I'm pretty sure you can do it in 
Zetsabos. Oh, well, there, there we go. Round 10. Not bad, though. I'm not upset about that at all. So while I was telling you I forgot to press record the first time I did this, I forgot to press record the second time, too. So now I just finally press record, and I'm just going to keep it with this one. I got the round 8 the first time. Going to get to round 8 again because I'm going to die from the Margua. I feel like the only way I kill the Margua is with Mustang and Sally from going down. So, but I ain't killing the Margua. I'm not that good. But if I get past round 8, I'll be very happy. But yeah, the highest round on this map starting room is 40, which is fucking so impressive. I think it's a little bit more impressive than Varrox. Because if you look, it's just a small space and you have gobble gums on Varrox. And this is double what Varrox is almost. So I don't... Pretty surprising to me. Oh, I could fucking use the pod. I didn't think of that. Maybe I could kill him if I get like a Kuda or something. Or even a Locust. Dude, I swear to God. I said this last time I was doing this fucking map. I'm always fucking... I can't do it. I'm always fucking Jackie Vincent, dude. Every time. Literally, I've been him the past, I think, seven or eight times I've played this map. That is nuts. Dude, this map does have some amazing fucking round change music. Dude, I think one of the best things they ever added into Call of Duty was the weapon attachments. Or the best thing is they added into zombies. Like, fast mags on this gun just makes it so much better, dude. Honestly, it adds so much more replayability to the game, too. Like, even this thermal. I'm not a big fan of the thermal, though, to be honest, but... It's pretty... It's just cool. Dude, these bugs actually piss me off so fucking much. Dude, like, fuck off! They stop spitting on... Are you shitting me? Like, ain't no way, dude. They just... On fucking Rev, they're brutal. On Rev, I actually go down to these fucking... I've been down to these before without Jug. They're fucking brutal. Dude, that fucking pod better turn red pretty damn fucking soon. Oh, see, this gun to the body... No, this gun to the body is dog shit. But it has, like, a eight times multiplier to that or something like that. Like, it's definitely better than the foul is. Or not the foul. Well, maybe the foul. But it's definitely better than the M14 is. F no, baby! Oh, no. Just give me that. Like, his quotes actually get annoying after I fucking listen to them... Because I've done around 100 almost, like, the past few days on this map. I've gotten, like, 80, and then 80, and then 100. But, like, his fucking quotes get annoying. He says the same shit all the time. Fuck, no oh, I'm dead. Oh! Don't fuck with JV, dude. Come on, turn red, you dickhead. Alright, I'm gonna go for this like I'm going to kill the Margua. Oh, fuck, I'm already dead. Fuck. Where is he, where is he? No, he's running the wrong way! Dick, dick! I'm dead. No! I thought I fucking had him right there. Well, round eight. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. That cutscene is so fucking long. Also, I'm not gonna pretend like I didn't fuck up again. So I just went out and shoveled for like two hours because we had like a somewhat of a storm in Boston. And that fucking was aid shoveling, but came back. We had to play some Dead of the Night for the video, and, uh, forgot to press record again, so we're on the second try. Realized halfway through, still got the shit side, in my opinion, the shit side. But yeah, the, the highest round on this map is only 33, which is fucking crazy. I think it's because, like my video today said, it's the most underrated map, and not many people have actually played it, so nobody really tries to play it. And 33 is fuck. it's the second hardest zombies map for spawn room, it says. Hell no, dude. I bet you this is my highest spawn room I get out of all the five maps. Easily. You're telling me these are two fucking different rooms? It's the fucking T room, and this is the... Oh, you fucking dumbass. There's no way. Ain't no fucking way. Dude, my like, Godfrey is fucking so annoying. I hate him. 
Dark Godfrey and Godfrey are just such a pain in the ass, dude, to be honest. All the characters on this map fucking suck, but especially fucking Godfrey, in my opinion. Maybe I'm alone on this, but I really wish Chaos fucking storyline had continued, because I really liked it, like, a lot, to be honest. Like, I'm probably the only fucking one, but I was, like, interested in the story a little bit. Damn, though, she low-key bad, though. Dude, she's probably, like, 14. Whoa, oh, but damn. But yeah, with the specialists and the, um... The Wraith Fires. The Wraith Fires are literally a fucking Wonder Weapon. I should be able to get to at least round 10, 12. Without a problem. I don't think I'm going to use Elixirs because I think that's a little bit overpowered. Even though it probably doesn't help that much. Only thing that could really help, I think, is the Arsenal Accelerator, really, and... Um, equipment. But, like, you basically only get to use them twice. Or once, even. Dude, I actually fucking hate this gun. It is the biggest piece of... Even though it's not even that... I mean, it's pretty bad compared to all the other guns, but... I fucking just hate it. Such a horse shit fucking gun. F no bait. All right, blow me. Oh, what are the odds, man? Good call, Godfrey. Boy, I'm thinking about drinking some tea over here. Yeah, but I'm more of that bottles guy, dude. We need a bottle of some of this, dude. Give me some of that gallon Merlot, dude. I want some of that. I need some of that on this lovely Friday night. Oh, shit. F no baby! That guy just fucking hit the nay nay. Oh, that was some fucking dog poop aim. Good shit. Gonna save that nuke though. Okay, guys, let me know, let me know in the comments. Who's bad? Who's more bad? Her? Her. We're assuming they're all 19? 20? Yo, Loki, I think she's more bad. Let me know. I mean, and if you're into that, maybe he's the baddest one of them all. Could be. Could be. <laughs> That's fucking great. Now that I think about it, with the ba Black Ops 4 system, these are very tight hauls. F no! Oh, what a save. Oh, F no, babe. babe. Yeah, we gotta use it. We gotta use it, you motherfucker. Only using this halfway. Let me just kill as many as I can. No, I fucking swung it again. Dick. Oh, look at that. Look at that tongue. Oh, shit. Look at the way she's looking at me, dude. Fuck you. A nuke? There's a... No, I ain't no way. Oh, I'm toast. Can they only spawn through there, though? I fucking pulled on my specialist, but I was throwing a fucking wreath fire, so it didn't work. Our first down on 13, not bad. Oh, F, no. Oh, I ain't dying. I ain't dying. Fuck that guy. Oh, this vampire's. Yeah, I'm toast. I am probably getting a 15 at most. And I have no ammo. I'll be happy if I get past round 14, to be completely honest. I need to get lucky with drops. That's so lucky. All right, now the goal is to get past this round, which ain't fucking happening. Unless I use elixirs, I ain't getting past this fucking round, so... Oh, we got no ammo. Oh, I fucked. All right, dude, I'm already dead. I'm literally already fucking dead. Yeah, we fucking dead. Oh, no. I'm li they're inside of me. Dude! Oh, well, that sucks. See you on the next map, babies. Okay, we here on Black Ops 2. Let's just fucking shock this, but oh my god, my sensitivity is way higher on this game than it is in the other one. Can I revive? Thank you. Alright, so the highest fucking round on Mob of the Dead, Black Ops 2, is 38. That's pretty fucking impressive to me. But, I think I'm probably going to get to like 7. I have a lot of lives, so I think I'll be able to, I, I'll probably be able to get to like round 7. I don't know. No, for instance, I mean, I guess the movement is really big in this game, actually, so I could keep the pistol. The two-hit down system, though, has got to fucking get me. I hate the two-hit, especially coming from just playing Black Ops 3. I played Black Ops 2 for a while, and then I went to Black Ops 3, and it was so much fucking easier. I got a hot take right here. I do think Mob of the Dead is the most overrated map of all time. Ain't no fucking way you have this map top three. Like, how? How is this map top three? 
I'll have another video about that up sometime soon, but dude, ain't no fucking way you have this map as a better map than Dorazendrak and stuff like that. That is just foul. That is foul. There is literally no Easter egg. And if there is a Easter egg, it's the shittiest fucking thing ever. I'll leave it at that for now, but I think it's a fucking great map. But ain't no way it's top three. Yeah, dude, Black Ops 2's got to be where I fucking I, I lose a lot. Honestly, it's probably my worst game. I also played it the least. I played it when I was younger. Like, this, my, my first Zombies map was, like, Kino. And then, but I was, like, nine or eight. And I didn't really get to play it that much. But then, like, I played Town, like, quite a bit on Black Ops 2 when it came out. But never really got into Zombies and DLC. I didn't really know, like, storyline or any of that was the thing. But then when Black Ops 3 came out, I played Derizen Rack and I fucking fell in love with it. But coming back and playing these Black Ops 2 maps, they're all, most of them really good. Die Rise is fu- oh, I'm dead. Die Rise is fucking dog shit. If you like Die Rise, I'm sorry, dude, you're wrong. That map is so ass. Dude, fuck. That sucks. Yeah, dude, I'm probably not making it that far. Get the fuck out of here. Downed on round four, dude. I am screwed. I'll probably get to round seven. At, at best. Maybe even round six. F no! How how much fucking health does this dick bag have? Fuck off! Yeah, I'm using this. This gun sucks! Holy shit! I'm dead. That gun's so bad! The thing is, dude, literally as soon as I kill them too, as soon as I arrive, they literally come right for me. I have no nades. Dude, that is fucking- I, that's my one of my least favorite parts about this fucking game. No! 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 There we go. Oh, I have no ammo. <laughs> How the fuck did that happen? Dude, I thought I was safe there. Well, fucking see you on Barry. All right, we back. We got fucking buried. How many, how many uh, rounds do I need to get to achieve my goal? I don't think I'm going to be able to. I got 10, 8, 6, and 15. Let's do some quick math. 18, 24. I need fucking round. Is that a round 11? No, there's no way, right? Oh, yeah, dude, definitely round. Dude, hell no, I ain't getting... I'm probably getting fucking four on this, dude. Dude, I just want to run and jump down there so badly. Yeah, the highest round on this map is 34, so... I know... I bet you this is the hardest spawn them if the flopper perma perk didn't exist, because I know the world record is achieved by, like, doing that and just keep flopping and getting the perma perk, but I don't... I'm not that good. I don't know how to do it. Hey, dude, the spawns are so much slower. I got two more rounds on Shadows, and it was three minutes less time. The spawns in this game are so fucking slow. Damn, look at the mine. I've never looked out here, to be honest. It's already rust, dude. Do you see, like, they put so much more effort into these maps. Like, look, even the, than they did to fucking Cold War. They put fucking no effort into those maps at all. This isn't even fucking, like, no one is ever in this part of the map, and they fucking put that much effort into it. I know Chrism got the, uh, fucking ray gun off the wall, but I think you have to be, like, level 2 to do that. Or level 1 or uh, level something, I don't know. Dude, imagine one on the fucking M14 or something like that, and you get the fucking Essex. Essex is so dog shit. Like, I don't even like the M14, but dude, fuck the Essex. Especially on Voyage's Gauntlet, where you have to get fucking and do a whole round 26 with the fucking Essex. Stops killing at round like 16. Now right, let's see if we can get round 6. That's what I'm planning on. Fuck the Olympia. Yo, let me know in the comments. Are you M14 gang or Olympia gang? I was Olympia gang back in the day, but that was an idiot, dude. I think the M14 is way fucking better. Pack-a-punch, though, the Olympia is kind of gas. Wait, why wasn't the Olympia doing this on the last map? What? Dude! I swear they just buffed it. 
Did they not buff this? Like, what, dude? Oh, wait. What? Is that because I shot him in the fucking arm? Yeah, fuck that. I'm getting fucking gibs now. Like, that is the actually the worst thing ever invented. Fucking shoot his head off and they still fucking kill you. Yeah, I'm dead. Nope. Yeah, well, we'll see it. We're around six. No! I don't even know what I was trying to do there, but it didn't work. Well, that's it, y'all. Thanks for fucking watching. I will see you motherfuckers later. Subscribe. Please.